Here we are entering a two bedroom, one and a half bath unit. In the entryway, we have a vinyl wood plank. Just to your right is a closet. You can use it as a coat closet or just storage. These are extremely high with like 10 and 11 foot ceilings in them. Directly across from the entry is the first of two bedrooms. You come in and this one is up on the elevated portion of the unit. So it's got these open windows that look out to the center of the complex and to the gulf. Painting around, you've got a dresser, a queen size bed, a nightstand, and they've replaced the old mirrored sliding glass doors with these nice barn doors. They're updated. So you've got a hanging closet that goes basically from wall to wall. And again, it's going to go way, way up. So if you have a lot of storage, you can actually put a second clothes bar up there and get you a little ladder and hang up a ton of stuff. The lights in here are controlled by this switch, but they, it runs the lamp. So you will need to have some lamps for your bedroom if you want any light. Coming down this way, across the hall, is the first half bath. They've been updated, the lighting has been changed, the mirrors have been changed. It's got new granite countertops, cabinets, toilets, the wood floors carry throughout. It's got a towel bar, so it's very nice. New faucets, and that carries through to the combination shower tub, the surround, and that connects to the other half bath which almost identical to mirror image. Same granite carries throughout the unit. Coming through the entry to this one, directly across the hall, is either a linen closet, storage closet, whatever you want to make it. And then you go down the short flight of five steps and you're in the master bedroom. This one of course has a little bit better view, a lot more light, a little more space. Um, it does have a second closet here because this will be your actual clothes closet. Again, the mirrored doors have been replaced. This one goes way up also. So you've got lots of storage room in here, even though it's a pretty small footprint of an apartment. Again, it's queen size bed, nightstand. It, it does have the same carpet in here and it has the blinds. So looking back, right up there on the right, that's the restroom. and. Right through here is going to take us to the combination living room and kitchen. So right up this short flight of steps on the right is the front door. On the left is the first bedroom. Coming down, we are here in the kitchen. It has black and stainless appliances, has a dishwasher, oven, range, all electric, has upper cabinets, and stainless steel sink. Lower cabinets, all the cabinets have been done in white, and it has granite countertops. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. On the other side, you've got a full bank of drawers and cabinets. Tons of storage in here. Again, beautiful granite countertops, beautiful job. Um, up around the ceiling, all the way around, you have beautiful crown molding. Carries all the way around the unit. This one has shutters on these. That was a custom thing that certain tenants put in there and they just stayed with the units so they're easy enough to get and put in you've got a pantry right here that's being used as a linen closet but you can put all your groceries and mop and vacuum and everything in there and then you go into the living room you've got bar stools very cute dining space you don't really need a dining table um, plenty of room for a couch and chairs full-size coffee table, lamps, there's a ceiling fan with a light kit, but who am I kidding? This is what it's all about. It's about this view. So new vinyls, glass doors, sunglass doors, black out most of the noise, and there is the Gulf of Mexico. And right over here you have the grilling area with tables and chairs and propane grills. There's a resort style pool. Back behind the gym there, that you can't tell the gym, is the hot tub. 
And in the back there's a full-size tennis court as well. So there's outdoor living is meant to be had here. Coming around, this is the other side of your balcony. This is big enough to put a full-size couch, outdoor couch furniture on here, or a dining table or whatever you want. And then we go right back into your master bedroom. So it's a really neat, neat space. And if you're interested, give me a call. William Jenkins, 409-526-9439. We'll see you on the baddest balcony on the Gulf.